happening in just hours. A state regulators meeting to talk about how to meet the demand for marijuana here in Colorado. Some places turning to the black market along with residents who are growing their own pot. And 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez is live. A large portion of what's being sold is not grown legally. Right, Christine. More than 40 percent. Those are numbers the Marijuana Enforcement Division, or MED, wants to combat. When they hold this meeting in their headquarters behind me later today from 1 to 5, along with stakeholders, I just got off the phone with one of those stakeholders. He's got four years in this business and owns three grow houses. He says right now retail customers are making pretty wise, basic choices that won't be easy to combat. Take a look inside the numbers at what's happening right now. According to a recently completed report by MED, 41 percent of the retail pot used in our state comes from illegal or unlicensed suppliers. It's estimated that over 280,000 pounds of marijuana is needed this year to meet the demand of residents and visitors, but that only 170,000 pounds comes from licensed grow houses and legal medical grows. So the belief among state regulators is that estimated tax revenue is being lost to the black and to the gray markets. Now the black market, well that's simple street dealers. They don't have to worry about reporting revenues and taxes. The gray market can include medical growers or homeowners who grow a few plants legally and then sell a few plants illegally. Trying to shrink that gap is the goal of today's meeting to be attended by representatives of retail stores, grow houses, plus the mayor and governor's offices and the state as well. And one of those invited guests told me he thinks taxation is the problem. In Denver, retail pot will run you about 22% in taxes. He's going to suggest a six month study to see if reducing that tax rate would help shrink this gap. Next month, they're going to deal with the also difficult topic of trying to make sure that edible products are clearly labeled so that kids won't take them by mistake. So even seven, eight months into this experiment with marijuana, some still very significant issues being tackled by state regulators, including this meeting starting at one o'clock today. Reporting live in Denver, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. Thank you, Tyler. Meanwhile, new tax figures seem to show people are not smoking as much legal weed as some have predicted. Says the state, in fact, collected just more than $12 million from retail pot sales during the fiscal year, which just ended. The governor's office had expected $100 million. A lot of people are using medical marijuana, which is taxed at a lower rate.